So today we are going to do a Zill drill for you. One of my goals for the new year is to start teaching more using the Zills and utilizing all of the different sounds that you can accomplish with the Zills. So often we stick to a basic ring and that really limits what we're able to express with our Zill work. So starting today, we are going to use all six of our Zill sounds more often. I have a video out here about how to accomplish several of these Zill sounds. So if you have not yet checked it out, you can see the link below, learn how to create those sounds with your Zills and then come back here to try this drill with me. Today's drill is going to be using the ring, the clack, and the tick, all three of those sounds. So our basic ring, the clack, and the tick. So today I'm using my new Saroyan Gowazis in bronze. I am so in love with these Zills. Not only is the color totally gorgeous, but the sound is amazing, which you will hear in just a second. So highly recommend the Saroyan Gowazis in bronze. If you would like to get your own pair, and I highly recommend that you do, you can check out the link below as well and pick some of those up today so you can use them on the Zill drill. So here we go. Our rhythm today, counting the rhythm, the way a musician counts the rhythm. Once again, if you're unfamiliar with this counting method, I also have another video that will explain to you how to do it. Here is our pattern. And one, and a two, and three, and a four, and one, and a two, and a three, e, and a four. Say it with me, because if you can say it, you can play it. Let's try it. And one, and a two, and three, and a four, and one, and a two, and a three, e, and a four. And one, and a two, and three, and a four, and one, and a two, and a three, e, and a four. And one, and a two, and three, and a four, and one, and a two, and a three, e, and a four. Excellent. So now, I've already told you, we're not just playing rings on this. So what are we going to use? Clacks, rings, and ticks. We are going to go clack, clack, ring, 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 clack, clack, ring, 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 clack, clack, ring, 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 tick, 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 tick. Clack, clack, ring, 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 clack, clack, ring, 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 clack, clack, ring, 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 tick, 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 tick. In other words, what we are playing is So, the way that I play this rhythm, and this is not the only way to do this as far as left and right is concerned, is here. Let me show you so that we're facing the same way. I play it here. I am a right lead person, but you can also think about continuously alternating if you would like, or even just alternating those first two clacks would be very useful as well, right? So you can think of it as if I'm alternating clacks and I do right left for each set of clacks, you could do this. Lots of options. I always say as long as you decide what you're doing and can accomplish what you set out to do hand-wise with your Zills, you're good. Right lead, continuously alternating, left lead are all totally valid. And of course, in the end, our goal is to be able to do them all, right? To be able to do them all. So that is our little combination. That's our rhythm with the Zills. Let's go ahead and try that a few times. I'm going to start just the Zills, then we're going to add some arms, then we're going to add some movements, and then I'm going to give you a little drill that you can take home and play with to do with this rhythm. Yeah? So here we go. Six. Seven, eight, and one, and a two, and three, and a four, and one, and a two, and a three, and a four.